In the last video, we saw how the stock price, the strike, and the volatility affects the call and the put prices. Now we're going to look at the time to expiration, the interest rate, and the dividends. So at some point, I want you to, to calculate quickly uh, if the stock price doesn't go up, how much am I going to lose tomorrow just because I have one day less to maturity on my call or on my put. And, and we will get there. But for now, let's just try to understand how this affects the price. So imagine your stock price moves like this over time. If you don't have a lot of time left to maturity, let's say you're here and your maturity is here. Well, the, mo the move is, is not that big. You're going to tell me, okay, I could be here, but like it's, it's the same idea. You would be limited to this move. So if you were at the money, for instance, maybe the maximum move would be between here and here. But if you have a lot of time left, let's say from here to here, you see you could be like either here or either here. And so you could be here or here. And clearly, if you are here, you see that you get paid much more than if you are here. You get paid this and this is the profit. So what this means is that the more time you have, the higher the value of your call. And for the puts, it's actually the same idea. It could do this or it could do that. And when it does that, you get paid more. So both, the more time you have, the higher the value of the, your call and your put. Now let's look at interest rates. Interest rates, the higher the rates, so interest rates are like the US Treasury bond, the higher the rates, the more you get paid on bonds. And so because stocks are more risky, you expect stocks to pay you more than bonds. So the higher the rates, the more you expect the stock price to go up. So naturally, if the stock price goes up for calls, you make more money. So this is a positive relationship. And for puts, it's the opposite. If it goes up, well, uh, you go out of the money and you make uh, your close to zero. So this goes down. And now dividends, the last one. So if you get paid dividends, I'm going to go through the extremes, but if a stock pays you 100% dividend, it means they give you everything they have. And basically your stock price goes to zero because there is nothing left. So the higher the dividend, the lower, I mean, when the dividends go up, you expect your stock yield to go down. And so for calls, if dividends go up, well, your, your stock is going to go in that direction. So you're going to go out of the money. So the value of your call will go down. And if dividends go up for puts, same thing, your stock goes in that direction. But for puts, it goes in the money. So like it's going to pay you higher. And so it's this relationship. Relation, relationship. All right. In, the, in some videos, at some point, I'm going to cover exactly the math behind. So in the formula uh, we mentioned earlier, and you will be able to calculate quick how much your call or put, uh, how much the price of your call or put changes over time based on uh, the strike, the volatility, and some other things. And I will tell you also how to approximate them. And, uh, and it's going to get more practical at some point. For now, it's a bit of uh, easy theory, but I think it's better if we start this way. All right, thank you for watching and speak to you soon.